Hi, this is Kapil Solanki and welcome back to my channel with a very big heart. In today's lesson, we're going to learn 15 phrasal verb which begin with get. And also, we're going to learn what is the definition of phrasal verb. What is phrasal verb actually? Well, phrasal verb is a combination of verb and preposition. When we make those two words together, it makes a phrasal verb. Let's take an example. I look after my parents. In this example, I use look after as a phrasal verb. So it doesn't mean that you look after something after your parents. No, it means you take care of your parents whenever they get feel sick, right? So in this example, you can understand look after as a phrase which is giving you unreal meaning to the words. So this is how we're going to learn all the phrasal verbs which begin with get. So our first phrase that we have in the list is get up. Well, you must know about this phrase because whenever you get up, whenever you rise up yourself, when you leave the bed, you just use this phrase get up. For example, hey, get up. You're going to be late for school. Just try to rise up yourself. I got up early in the morning in order to catch the flight. Get over. Well, this phrase is used when you recover from the bad situation or from illness through which you have been suffering from a quite a long time. Let's say if you have come down with the COVID and you're simply consulting to the doctor. Hey doctor, how long will it take me to get over it? And doctor simply said to you, it will take you three weeks. I was coming down with a fever. Now I have got over for a quite a long period of illness. So this is how you can use this get over, get rid of, get rid of. Well, before I'm going to give you the meaning of this phrase, I would like to ask you one question that how many of you wants to get rid of someone? Maybe it could be that person who wants to bother you and who just keeps on asking you unnecessary question. So you can just simply use this phrase if you if you really want to eliminate that person from your life. So you can just simply use this phrase by saying, hey, I can't tolerate you anymore. I just want to get rid of you. I just want to eliminate you from your life. My neighbor John's keep on asking me unnecessary question. So I just want to get rid of him. Get out of, get out of. This phrase is used when you avoid doing something, especially by giving excuses, when you really don't want to do that work. For example, my friend Rahul called me to play cricket, but I got out of playing cricket by claiming to have injured my ankle. I was giving a lot of work by my boss, but I am still getting out of it. Get off, get in. Well, these two phrases are used for vehicle when you enter in the vehicle or when you leave the vehicle. For example, hey, get in my car. Hey, get out my car. So this is how you can use these two phrases. My grandfather couldn't get in the bus just because of his leg injury. Get along, get along. Well, get along means when you have a good interaction with others, when you have a good friendly relationship with others. For example, I get along with my friends. I can't get along with my neighbors anymore. Getting along with her is really impossible work. Get across, get across. Well, get across is used when you have to make somebody understand with your ideas. For example, I didn't get properly. Could you please get me across again? The teacher couldn't get her ideas in front of the students. So she has to get them across again. It's difficult to get him across in English. Just talk to him in Hindi. Get away. Get away means when you leave or when you escape from a place or from a person which you really don't like it. For example, he just keeps on getting away herself from the crowd. My brother keeps on getting himself from everything because he's of introvert personality. Get down, get down. Well, this phrase has two meaning. The first meaning, when you concentrate on something properly, when you do something by concentrating properly. And second meaning, when you make somebody sad, for example, Let's get down to the business. It means let's get down to the work. Let's concentrate to the work. Rainy weather gets me down. It means rainy weather. Whenever the rainy weather comes, I just 
it just makes me feel sad so this is how you can use get down get behind get behind means when you fall behind doing something when you are falling behind doing something for example if you get behind in your car payment your car may be repossessed it means your car could be returned next example you have been learning english for last five years and you are still getting behind it it means i haven't seen any improvement in yourself yet so this is how you can use get behind get ahead get ahead means when you become successful when you make consistent progress in your life or in your work for example i want to get ahead in my career it means i want to become a successful person in my career just get ahead in this work and get the promotion get around get around means when you travel different different places for example it's very easy to get around to london i want to get around to the every corner of the world she wants to get around to the every corner of india get into get into means when you become interested in doing something maybe it could be your work or maybe something other thing for example i used to hate reading books but nowadays i am getting into it i don't want to get into it i am getting into learning english nowadays get at get at means when you criticize someone repeatedly for example my boss always gets at me i don't know why he behaves like that my mother always keeps on getting at me when i get to home at late night so this is how you can use all these fragal verbs which begin with get i hope you like this video and if you really like this video please subscribe my channel i will bring lots of new lessons for you guys thank you so much